There are five, five psychological anchors that literally train our minds so that we can consistently experience success in our lives. And you'll see these things common across those who are high achievers or accomplish much in their lives. These five psychological anchors. I'm gonna show you what these are today so you can apply and I'll make sure these are aligned in your life so that you can consistently experience success through every circumstance. What's going on those of you watching on YouTube or listening on the podcast? I am Joshua Washington and welcome back to another week. We're going to jump right into these five psychological anchors that I'm going to show you today because maybe you know someone who is just constantly seems like they're always experiencing success and you've seen things thrown at them and they just always seem to bounce back and push through uh, towards success. And maybe that's something you want for your life, but I'm here to tell you there's a formula there's, there's a science behind why people continuously and consistently succeed. So, and it has to do with anchoring. So I'm going to show you what those five are, but first I need to, to explain, kind of give some context. Cause you may be thinking, what the heck is psychological anchoring? It sounds highly scientific, but I'm going to break that down. Let's take a look here. I pulled up the definition by the, the greatest philosopher of our day, which is Dr. Google. All right. And here's what it says about mind anchoring. This is actually a technique that's used in neuro-linguistic programming, which is known as NLP for short. Some of you may have heard of it. This is an NLP technique that works on the premise that certain memories and emotional states are triggered as a result of specific stimuli that is present either in internally or externally. Now, what does all that scientific jargon mean? That just simply means that there are internal, there's internal stimuli that we're talking about today, that when it's triggered, we have a certain emotional or even, does it say physical? Yeah, certain memories or physical and emotional reaction. And that's what is known as anchoring. When those anchors are triggered, it, it, it kind of sparks a reaction within us. And so that's what we're talking about today. There are five anchors within your, your mind and, and my mind that when they are not aligned, we do not consistently experience success. But when those bad boys are lined up firm and ready, it teaches our brain and it, it trains our brain to uh, experience success no matter what our circumstances are. All right. So let's jump into these five. And the first one here, the first anchor uh, that is or the mind anchor, I should call it, that helps to train our brain for success. The first one is the anchor. Actually, that's, that's too, too much. <laughs> the anchor of intention. The anchor of intention. Now, some of you have heard me say that you were made in success. I often say, like, if your life represented, had a product tag on it, it would say, you know how some products say made in China or made wherever the product tag on your life would say made in success. Now, when I tell some people that automatically their thought is, well, then that means I'm going to automatically <laughs> succeed or experience success. And the answer is no, that is not what that means. Just because you're made in success does not mean that you are automatically going to experience success. And that's why we're talking about intention. That's why this, this anchor of intention is so important because what this anchor shows us is that intention. When I say you're made in success, I am speaking to the intention of your life, meaning I am speaking to the purpose of your life. Intention is what gives us a greater sense of purpose. When we know the intention for our lives, we tend to conduct our lives and lead our lives in that way. For instance, a car, we know the intention of a car is to get us from point A to point B, right? But you can also use a car as a weapon. That's why manslaughter exists. So, but when you're using a car that way, you are using it outside of its intention and people get hurt. Same thing is true for our lives. When we, when we operate our lives outside of its intention, which is to be successful, we end up hurting ourselves because we're not operating within the intention. So the first anchor that has to exist, if you want to train your mind 
for success is the anchor of intention. You have to know that you were created to succeed. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You were created to succeed. And so that speaks to the intention of your life. We're not predicting that just because you were made to succeed that you will. All right. I hope that makes sense. So intention then drives the next anchor. And that next anchor is belief. Intention drives belief. Once you understand the intention of your life, then that drills down and creates another anchor, which is belief. Now, belief is made up of truth and value. Truth and value. And I'll give you an example. Every day, there are thousands, I mean, probably even more than thousands at this point, but we are hit with thousands of messages that just come across our eyes, our, our, our mind. And those messages, some of them, or, or probably a lot of them, they test our intention. They push against our intention. They try to disrupt our intention. If you don't have a firm anchor of belief, meaning that you have a firm foundation of truth in your life, then whatever those, when those lies start to come across your eyes or, or, or try to convince you that you're not good enough, you're inadequate, or that you're, you're not, you shouldn't have any confidence or that you don't look good or you, you don't like when those lies start to infiltrate, it is the anchor of belief that helps us to, to keep our ground, to stand our ground. And honestly, this is why, and those of you who watch this, you know, I, I I'm always talking about biblical foundations and principles. This is why I, I get so uh, frustrated with Christians that don't read their Bible. Because when you don't read your Bible, you are you taking away this anchor of truth. Because it's not long before the lies begin to pile up. And if you don't have a firm foundation of consistent truth in your life, meaning you are constantly reminding your mind of truth about you know, the intent of your life and truth about the future of your life and truth about who you are and the value that's within you and the truth about why you hold the values that you hold. And it just continues to go on and on like that. That anchor of belief is critical because it's what reinforces the intention over your life. If your life is made in success, then the belief, the truth, you need the daily truth that reinforces that intention for your life. And once you have that anchor, we move on to the next one, which is, this is one of my favorites. You all know, this is where your mentality comes into play. Once you have truth and a firm value foundation, then that begins to pour out into your outlook. And now you begin to see around you through that outlook. Let's put the word outlook here. Once you have the anchor of intention, that leads to belief. Well, let's start over. Once you have the anchor of intention, that gives you a greater sense of purpose. And that leads to the next anchor of belief, which roots your life in the foundation of truth and value. And I don't know what your truth, what you consider truth. I consider the Bible, the word of God to be true. And that's what keeps me, you know, gives me a foundation to combat all the lies that come against us every day. Whatever that is for you, just make sure you have an anchor uh, and make sure that it's sustainable. And then the next one is mentality. And the mentality is once you have that, those first two, you begin to see life through those eyes. And I, I, I'd like to think of it this way. Some people call, they, some people are, are uh, seen as optimists. Or they're seen as pessimists, meaning either you have a really highly positive outlook on everything or a really negative outlook on everything. That's the example I would give you here with the mentality. People who have a pessimistic outlook on, on life is because their beliefs are rooted in negativity. And they and their intention could potentially be out of a, a alignment as well. So it's important to not only just have the intention, the anchor of intention, the anchor of belief but also the anchor of your mentality. Make sure your outlook matches your belief and the intention of your life. And once you have that, that leads to the next anchor, which is, I keep mixing my colors up here, 
That's the anchor of action. The anchor of action. Now, I like to think of this one as this is the response. Once you, once you have the intention and then you have the, uh, the belief, the truth and the foundation, and then you have the, the mentality, meaning your outlook every day is, is living and looking for that, that success. You've trained your mind to have that outlook. Next comes the action. Because it, it means nothing to have, to know your intention, to know your life was made for success, to have truth that reinforces that, and to form your mentality and then not go out and move. It makes no sense to have all these other, you know, three anchors, but then you never take action. That's why we're doing, that's why I started doing the Activate Your Dreams Challenge. Because there are a lot of people who believe their life was made for success. They believe um, that the truth, they have truth that reinforces that. And they have an outlook of success for their lives, but they don't go after any of the goals that they could actually achieve if they weren't bombarded by fear, doubt, and inaction. And so action is so important because action is success in practice. Action is success in practice. Once you have the, you know, the intention of your life, and then you have a, a, a reinforcement of truth to support that intention, and then that begins to impact your outlook, the next thing is to start to practice it. And that's where actions are so important. Your actions must, must cause you to start to put into practice the success that is anchored in these other three that we're talking about. And once you have the, the action, then the next thing, the last thing here is that begins to anchor into your habits. And this is, this is special because once you get to this point, that's when you begin to formulate the experience. This is where experience comes into play because now that your actions are, you actually practicing success, what begins to happen is if you're not, if you're not aware of this, we spend most of our lives living in the unconscious realm. 80% I think is the, is the, um, is the statistic. 80% of, of our actions in our, in our life is in the un unconscious. Many of you, when you drive, you're not thinking about half the, the 50 or hundred things that you're actually doing while you're driving because it's unconscious. So now you just experience it. You don't have to really think through it. You don't have to really practice because you've gotten past that phase. The same is true when it comes to your success. Once you have your, your intention and you know, Hey, my life was made for success, right? You have your intention. Then that gets down into your belief and you start to reinforce that intention. And that begins to affect your mentality, how you look and, and the outlook you have on the world. And then you start to actually act on that and practice it. Then what you begin to experience, that's where the experience of success begins to come into play. That's how you train your mind. That's how you train your brain, no matter what situation you're in, to always end up at the level of success. It's the alignment of these five anchors. When you have these five anchors in alignment, that's when you begin to experience consistent success. Not just a blip on the radar, but that's where over time you begin to experience consistent success, no matter what the circumstances are. Some of you, you've suffered from cons consistency issues. I would challenge you, go back and look at one of these five anchors. Look at intention, belief, mentality, action, and habit, and see which one of those are out of alignment. Do you believe that, you know, you were made in success or that your life was made for success, but you're not reinforcing that every day with truth? Instead, you're, you're reinforcing it with the opposite voices, voices that are telling you you're not made for anything or that your life was not made for success. Because if you do that, then it won't be long before the, the intention begins to shift. 
and before you stop believing or having that sense of purpose over your life. It's that serious, y'all. These five anchors, I want you to look at them again. Intention, belief, mentality, action, and your habits. They begin to affect your habits, and that's what leads to that experience of success. When, and when these five anchors are aligned, it trains your brain. It trains your mind that no matter what situation you're in, no matter what season you're in, you will come out successful. If you're in a tough season right now, I challenge you, check these five anchors, get them into alignment, and you will come out of that season successful. And so these five anchors, when you have these uh, aligned in your life, you will begin to see a more consistent life. You'll begin to have more confidence. You'll begin to achieve and accomplish more because your focus will align as well. And that's the importance of these five psychological anchors. All right. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of content or if you are looking, if you're, you're someone that is serious about your success, your life success, then make sure you keep and stay tuned in here. Hit that notification button. Hit that subscription button so that you don't miss any of this value. Because I promise you, if you lock into this, you will begin to experience the success that you were created for. All right. That's all for this week. I'll see you all next week. Same time, same place. Reminding you that success is your destiny. I'll see you on the next one.